Hey guys, I'm back again and I have for you today a review of Everything's Trash But It's Okay by Phoebe Robinson. Okay, now I picked this book up because it was sent to me for review and I read actually her book, I think it came out, I think it was in 2016. It was called Don't Touch My Hair. It had this beautiful cover of Phoebe Robinson with her big afro hair and I read it and I thought it was it was okay it was okay I think I gave it three stars but please ask me to review this one and I was a little hesitant but I said okay no I'm gonna try it because I do like her a lot I think she's funny so I got the book here it is beautiful book they even sent me a pen as well which is really cool and yeah, so I read it and I really, really enjoyed it. Now I'll tell you what I did. I started reading the book, but I think I got maybe one good chapter in because the chapters are really long. They are separated into uh, themes. And after I read the first one, I said, no, I need the audio. I need to hear Phoebe Robinson read this while I'm reading the book. So I picked up the audio as well and I read the book while listening to the audio and that was the magic formula. You cannot read Phoebe Robinson without hearing her voice. I think it's just the perfect match because it's humorous so you don't get the tones that she puts on what she's written but with the audio you get that so it's just it's just so much more enjoyable. So. I sped through with this and the weekend and I thoroughly enjoyed it. She talks about everything. That's why it's called everything's trash, but it's okay because she does mention all the things that are going wrong at the moment. You guys know what the subjects are. You know, it's, you got the me too. You got the, you know, the feminist movement, not being inclusive. You have men making commentary on people, women's sizes or women making commentary on other women's sizes. So, you know, a lot of fat shaming, you have interracial dating, specifically how black women if they're in an interracial you know relationship how black men and black men and women are sometimes uh, not you know so keen on that so they they come for the person and they make judgments and things but specifically black men making judgments on black women whereas there are a lot of black men who are in relationships with white women so she talks a lot about that too there's nothing that she misses really in this book and the thing that i enjoyed was that as you're reading along you get there's some parts that are ad-libbed that she adds in organically while you're reading it's not written but you hear it on the audio and that just makes it even better for some reason i i didn't care so much about the fact that there was a lot of ad-libbing in her reading on her audiobook so i thought that was just fun now there is one thing i absolutely did not like in this book and that was this that when she wants to explain certain things, what she does is she, you'll have a page like this and you have the text and then you have these footnotes at the bottom. Oh, Jesus. I hate having to read footnotes, especially when it's not a, like a history novel, a history work or something like that. The footnotes were a killer for me. That's the only thing that drove me mad about reading this was these tiny little footnotes. They're all through the book. You see you have them here. All the way through the book you have these tiny little footnotes. Drove me mad that. That's the only thing that I could not get on board. But the rest, spot on, very good read. You'll be shaking your head. Yeah, girl, I know what you mean. And there'll be moments where you'll do a little bit of <laughs> like that. And there'll be sort of like, oh, that was kind of corny, you know. But uh, as a whole, it's a very, very good book. If you don't know who she is and you don't know very much about pop culture, stuff that's going on today, names, TV shows, stars, you don't know enough about American culture, you should stay away from this book because you will not understand anything in it if you do not know American culture really well. Otherwise, you're going to be lost. Everything is going to go right over your head. She'll be talking about somebody. And if you don't know who that person is, 
you're not going to get the joke and you're not going to understand. You're, you're going to have to go Google everything while you're reading the book and then that's going to get old and you're going to want to stop. So this is a book that is specifically for people who know a lot about American culture and who love it and who uh, can relate to it. So that's all I have for you today. This is definitely a four star. Pick it up. It's worth the read. Bye.